Bardeth. Huh. Why so uneasy? <sighs> A king must forever be on guard. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. I didn't even ask after him. Somehow I knew he'd... Some years ago, he was destined to die in battle, and he did. He sits with Odin now. My family owes yours a solemn debt. That winter, your family came to stay with us. I remember your birth, screaming like a warrior. The plague year. No one would take us in. No one but your mother and father. I owe your family my life. And what a life we had. I have fond memories of you and I slipping out to hunt. In dead of night. Stars in the sky, moonlight on snow. <laughs> and that's how I got that scar. <laughs> I do feel bad about that. What about the one on your cheek? This? A caution from the guards about my vanity. Come. If we tell all our stories, we'll be here a week. Do you see something? My imagination run amok, but let us away. Funny how just the slightest noise sets a fellow on edge. Why Thor's hammer about it? I could sleep a week. Not as spry as the old days, eh? When we'd search the night in hopes of catching a will-o'-the-wisp. Did we catch one? I have a memory of catching one. Ascension to the throne has not been without contest. The previous king's son, Thorstein, is resentful. You told me nothing of this. You are my guest. I am not going to burden you with petty concerns. Petty concerns? I now know why you've been anxious all evening. I, tis worrying. He's never been so bold before. He sees you as a usurper to his throne. Perhaps, but he doesn't seem to want to take it. He contents himself by stealing and smuggling with his band of ruffians. It's petty Viking raiding, but it puts me in a bad light with Flan. That's certain. Keep a sharp watch. Brigands rove the streets tonight. You can be sure of me, my king.
What? You know I am always the last to leave a party. What is wrong? We were ambushed by Thorstein's men. Rivals I was not made aware of. Small wonder King Flan does not embrace you, Bardet. You cannot keep control of the Vikings in your own city. Thorsten makes me look like more of an arse than I do on my own. I see. It is the High King's disfavor that makes this shameful. My cousin, I will take care of Thorstein. No, I do not want to drag you into this sorry mess. Perhaps he'll accept Silver to lie low. For a week or two, but then he'll be back and back again. I can remove this blood once and for all. Eivor, this is not your fight. For any and all of your gods' sakes, Barith. Let Eivor help you. As of this moment, Barith, my arm is yours. Whatever is needed to bring Flan's smile upon you, I will do. Eivor, I have never been so happy. Your family saved mine those years ago. A fitting reply would be to secure your throne. I will start with Thorstein. It happens that Siegfried may know something. He once ran with Thorstein's gang. Sadly true. Seek him tomorrow in the marketplace. After a night of carousing, he likes to recuperate there. We will begin to forge a bond with High King Flan on Rise of Sun. about Thorstein. What do you see? I'll never learn.
what is it I can do for you this fine day? May I see your stores? Ready for back. Welcome. This is in stock if you want it. I hope you enjoy this. This is available for purchase. This could be nice. Nothing more? Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> 